Hello everyone. Today we're going to see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Mantis and Daedalus on Windows 10. First thing you need to do is to find the Mantis project on GitHub. You'll find it in input, output, hk slash mantis. From here it's very easy to get to the instructions. For the latest release, you can download it from here, so please open that link in a new tab or window. Also download the Bootstrap database. Here we have the release 1.0, and below we have the installers for both macOS and Windows. Click on Daedalus Windows 64 to download the file. Now save it and it will automatically go to your downloads folder. Very simple. Another important factor is to take note of the checksum for Windows. These numbers and letters here. Once you have downloaded the installer, you'll need to open your command prompt. Type command prompt in the search bar to open the application. Type in the location of where you downloaded the installer, normally your downloads folder, and here you can see the installer. Now we have the installer, we need to make sure that you install the correct files. So type search util, hash file, Daedalus, and that allows the installation and SH-256, which is used to generate it. And now you can see it's calculating the hash. And here we have the healthy cache, which is 7C27B44 EA40, which is identical to the one from our website. 7C27B44 EA40. It should begin the same way. And now let's see if they both end the same way. It should be FA77 8488B8. We can be confident that the files that we downloaded from the website are the ones that the developers intended for us to have. It's very important to always check the checksums when downloading files from the internet to make sure that they haven't been tampered with. Now we can install the folder by clicking on the installer. We click yes, and now the system will extract all the files. Give it a few seconds, and our installation should be completed. You should then be able to see Daedalus application was recently added to Windows and we can safely open it. It might take a little while as it's opening the Mantis client and the Daedalus wallet at the same time. Here we go. When Daedalus opens for the first time, it will ask you to select a language. In our case, it's English. Secondly, you'll need to accept the terms and conditions. Click Agree. And now, do you want to send the logs? Select yes, and continue. Now you can see the Mantis logo, and application will begin syncing blocks. This synchronization has caused some confusion amongst our users. It'll often take a little bit longer to show more than 0%. So to see the actual progress, we can go to the File Explorer, under View Hidden Items, and make sure that you have that option ticked. Now we go to Windows Drive, Users, Your User, and to the folder .mantis, Logs, and here you would find the Mantis log. So remember it's Windows, User, Your User, .mantis, Logs. And now we open it in Notepad and we can see the logs of what Mantis is doing in the background. The last Mantis log entry 
was at 19.58 and 32 seconds. If we close it and open it again, we'll see another log entry. Now we are sure that Mantis is working by trying to connect to the Ethereum Classic network. However, we need to remember that the blockchain has the record of everything that has ever happened since the beginning of the Ethereum chain. So this process could take weeks. In this situation, we use the Bootstrap database. To get the Bootstrap database, go to your browser and we can download it from the GitHub project. If you click download here, we'll be able to download the zip file for the Bootstrap database. Note that the file is 11 gigabytes. Remember, it's the whole history of the Ethereum Classic blockchain since the beginning of the chain. So be patient, as it might take a while before it's completed. And again, you will need to check the hash in the command prompt. I already have mine downloaded. Here you can see the Mantis Boot Classic latest zip, 11 gigabytes. And again, you want to make sure that the file we have downloaded is the correct one. So now we type SHA512. This one is different from the one that we used to validate Mantis, and it will calculate the hash for those 11 gigabytes of information. So it might take a few minutes. So in the meantime, I'd like to show you something else. Go to the Explorer and find users and your username. And click the folder called App Data. Normally it's a hidden folder, but if you go to View again and see hidden items, it should be visible. So in App Data, Roaming, and Daedalus, Logs, and here are the Daedalus logs. The Daedalus logs is a log for the user interface of the Daedalus wallet, which is different from the Mantis log. So if you're doing a bug report, it's very useful for us if you can provide both logs because information between them can help us locate and solve the problem much more easily. Take note that the Daedalus logs is in User, App Data, Roaming, Daedalus, Logs. And the Mantis log is in your User, Dot Mantis, Logs. Okay, so let's check our hash calculations. It's still going. So let's wait a couple more minutes. So now the calculation has the hash for the Bootstrap database. We can see the hash here and on the website. The hash starts with A2F4A053. And in the command prompt, we can see the hash style starts with A2F4A53. So they're identical. So let's check if they end the same. So here we have A49958B, and here we also see A49958B. So we can be confident that we have downloaded the correct Bootstrap database. So now how do we use it? It's very simple. We close the Daedalus wallet and find the Mantis Daedalus drive, and go to the folder Mantis Boot Classic Zip, and extract all. Choose the path you want to select for Mantis to be installed in, which is in user, your username, dot mantis, and select the folder. Double check that this is correct, and extract. Again, remember this is going to extract 11 gigabytes of information, so it might take a while. There, done. Now you should be able to see all of the level DB files right here in the .mantis folder. What this means now is that we have extracted a blockchain up to the point that the Bootstrap database was created. Now if we open Daedalus, we should see that this is almost up to date with the blockchain. As we connect to the network, here we can see a progress of 98.45%. The last few percent can take up to 10 hours to be synchronized, depending on the speed of your network and the state of the Ethereum Classic blockchain. That's how to install Mantis and Daedalus with the Bootstrap database and all the checksums. If you have any questions, please do ask and comment on the video.
or to give us feedback, go via the Ethereum Classic Forum. GitHub also allows you to report issues, and we will try to answer all of your queries as soon as possible. So thank you very much, and enjoy your Ethereum Classic.